different people care about different things and you can't expect every person to be as passionate as you about what you care about yeah it's like if i if i throw back in your face well what about asian hate and then why aren't you tweeting about that you know i don't have that expectation from you i can share what's important to me but i'm not going to expect you to act the way that i do and feel the way i do about it so I think that is unfair. And normally, you're right. Most people are are reasonable and, you know, they don't give a shit. But I think the ones that you hear most from if you're on social media are the loud ones who do have strong opinions and problems with a lot of things. God, pick a hobby. Do some shit. God damn. <laughs> go like go. I don't know. Do charity? <laughs> Volunteer work? <laughs> That's what I think is more effective. The ones that are yelling... I just think if you actually want to be effective, you can start volunteering or maybe talk to the political leaders. Why are you going after Taylor Swift and <laughs> celebrities who influencers that sell, you know, instant coffee? Why do they need to talk about <laughs> this political situation? Yeah, I think that's, to be honest, very retarded. I don't know if it's like a, a Western thing. I feel like, I mean... Oh, well, to be honest, yeah, in China, you can't really protest. So <laughs> <laughs> that's that. <laughs> it's not in our genetics. <laughs> that's, yeah. People, yeah, people help in different ways. Yeah, when I see the protests, it's so not me to be holding up a sign. I help in different ways. I'll donate money. I'll have conversations with people to learn more. I'll, uh, yeah, money. I think it's mostly financial. I'll Because money helps a lot so i'll help by buying your product supporting you in that way hell no i ain't donating shit <laughs> those organ i don't trust institutions organizations i feel like they use that money to uh, buy mansion what? buy their own shit and like money laundry with politicians no it's true unless you are on the ground working with those people you really don't know where that money's going and the times i have volunteered uh, remember the syrian refugee crisis and a lot of them were going um to greece mm. like in boats and they were drowning it was a lot so i went over there uh because there were the camps the you know the immigrant camps and what you see on the ground is different from what you see on the news completely and so i always question unless i'm over there I, or i know someone on the ground even what the news is showing is not necessarily accurate i will question like is that it's actually what's happening or is just one snippet and uh when i was volunteering there was also other organizations very popular ones that i know people donate to and even the people who i was the group that i was with they're like if you saw how they were spending the money, you would never donate to them again. And they've seen over the course of months like what these people are doing. So yeah, unless I'll donate if I know the person on the ground, I trust them or I'm there myself. Um, or for example, if it's if I want to support like small businesses, uh, uh, people of color, small businesses, I will totally buy your product. Because that to me, I know as a entrepreneur, how much that means to people like so that's those are examples of ways that I help. I'm not on a megaphone, uh, typically. <laughs> yeah, virtual signaling. <laughs> I'm not the fucking worst. <laughs> uh, the way I help is uh, just live my best life. All right. The way I help is just shut my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Stop telling people what to do with their lives and, and live the best I can, be the best I can. That's... <laughs> That's that's the only thing I can do. There are maybe a handful of people I give a shit about. Everybody else, I, I just straight talk. I don't care. 